what is going on people welcome back to another video on the diy car guys channel in today's video we'll be doing an unboxing review and setup of this top don car power that i've got from amazon they also sell it on other websites so it is essentially just for iphone users apparently it's made for iphone so again uh buy it if you've got an iphone but if you do have a samsung we'll have a look on the samsung app if they do have this app or not but yeah it is it does require an app and it is literally just a little dongle so i'm just going to take it out so here we have the product guys looks very sleek so let's plug it in and see uh it is a bit of rubber on on the sides and so on but yeah let's plug it in i have downloaded the app on the phone which i'll show you guys right now it is on the app store it is called top don car pal so let's open that and see what it says uh, allow agree allow skip plugin uh, it's not connected so we are going to plug this uh, this is a bmw just for reference if any of you guys are interested but yeah the obd scanner should be near the bottom there so guys here is the obd port on my car i don't know if it's this way there we go we can see a green light on so yeah once it's on we'll go back to the phone so guys here we have the app so i've turned the ignition on i haven't turned the engine on as of yet so we'll press on connect now and it says you have to connect it to the bluetooth so what you then have to do is go into your bluetooth settings and here we have it carpal 04er let's connect that so that is now connected so uh, car power bluetooth is on so on and so on so yeah allow so here we have it. it is currently connecting let's see what it asks it asks for next let's try a full health check agree i'm just going to create an account and i'll come back to the screen so guys i've just created the account add device i plugged it in you guys saw me plugging that in start a vehicle engine okay so it's asking to start the engine that is exactly what i'm doing right now after confirming that the green indicator light on the device is on click on the next let's have a look i've got a blue light if you guys can see there let's press scan to activate it it is currently saying device connected successfully a new version is available so we'll update that update that currently updating 99% there guys so we'll just wait for that to finish uh, that's done complete okay let's do a check on the car it's currently reading it it's reading the vin number uh, the current device supports selecting zero brands at the same time do you want to select the current bmw as the brand yes it is a bmw it's doing an analysis right now again this is pretty useful guys uh, it is quite small to carry around literally can fit in your pocket data loading exception try again okay let's try that again not a good start but we'll try that again okay so now is downloading bmw diagnostic software specific to this car so again not going to keep you guys waiting 99 percent there again unzipping your vehicle software this seems to be moving pretty quick So guys, it says enter VIN uh, manually. For me, it's already entered. I don't want to show you guys the VIN number. So we're going to press confirm. That is the right VIN number. So it gives you all the details here. Chassis number and at the top, it does give you the VIN number as well. Everything is correct. So continue. So it's currently, okay. The ignition got switched off by itself, which is pretty scary, shall I say. So yeah, 
wait for changeover ignition is switched on please wait okay so we'll change we'll wait i guess so it's doing things by itself right now guys the car i mean not the not this the car is switched off and right now it's switched back on so it's establishing communication with the vehicle and here we go let's do a quick scan on all of that stuff it's currently scanning the car not sure how long this will take but i'll probably fast forward this part anyway okay that is done quite a few faults with my car which i was not aware of so dde digital diesel electronics uh let's have a look at what that is the oxygen sensor that minor faults luckily uh oxygen sensor oxygen sensor after catalytic converter heating activation open circuit i don't know what these are but again gives me an idea going back here into the second one internal fault in headlight driver module left that is true there is a bit of condensation in the headlight so that could probably be what it is there is an ignore button there welcome light repeat interlock active message missing footwell module receiver again not sure what that is uh what is this roof function center reading light open circuit reading light open circuit okay let's have a look at these minor faults they are minor going into here we've got quite a few integrated automatic heating to be fair i did have a few issues with my heating which i did fix myself so i'm not sure what i did wrong but it does say ignore fault currently not present okay ignore means the fault is currently not present uh let's have a look at what it says on the minor ones fault not currently present okay so yeah these are it so let's try and clear these faults yes let's clear it out i'm going to clear it out then read it again or scan it again to see if it pops up again currently going through the clearing process So what it does is clears it and reads it again and we can see that there is no DTCs at the moment. But I'll do it again towards the end of the video to see. Right now, 100% score. Uh, do you want to, uh, yes, confirm. We can also get a report as well. Uh, it is an automatic car. Automatic. Again, this was already done. Uh, let's do a battery test. Start testing. The following... Click next and follow the instructions of the page. It's next. Before testing, intro your air conditioner, headlights, and all other applications are turned off. Are turned I'm going to turn. The confirm. Next. Tap confirm and start the vehicle. Let's start the vehicle. Battery testing. Is the engine? Yes. Battery tests are normal. Again, we've got a lot of information here, which I don't know what they mean, but all we know is that battery test has come out normal uh, let's see the live data on the car especially that it's fully turned on at the moment let's have a look at what it gives us okay don't really know what these are engine coolant temperature coolant temperature engine rpm so on and so on so yeah a hell of a lot of data here and again, I'm not going to be bothered to go through each and every one of them. But yeah, that is the uh, real live data. I mean, we've got the engine inspection. Let's have a look at what that gives us. Hopefully nothing major, guys. And by the way, if you guys are, your engine is healthy with no trouble codes, keep it up. Thank you very much. Uh, this is one of the uh, diagnostic tools that I have. The other one is right here. This is also from Amazon. I will leave a link to this box down below if you guys do want to check it out but yeah that is essentially what it is we've got a we've got here the oil continue let's have a look if it actually reads the oil that would be crazy uh confirm confirm okay it switched off the ignition by itself so that's what it's done it should turn it off turn on by itself as well i'm not doing anything guys one hand is on this phone one hand is on the camera so let's see let's see what happens so we switched it on by itself 
and now it's establishing communication scanning control unit I doubt that this would work the oil level but if it does okay it gives us the oil reset option which we don't want to do and uh, but yeah that is again this a quick one on this um car power top down car power brand product we've got mail we've got service and a warning light library and we've got our own page here but yeah guys that is a quick review on this top down car power obd scanner uh what's hud uh choose your favorite hud style uh, i'm not going to mess about with that at the moment uh this is a heads up display that's what hud stands for uh 86 miles per hour so on and so on uh, again you guys can see it live on here but again i'm not driving at the moment so we are not going to do that but yeah that shows that and this shows again the rpm and so on which i won't be doing right now but you guys can do that if you guys are interested let's go back okay but yeah that is it guys let me know what you think are you guys looking to buy it if so that i will leave a link to that in the description box down below very straightforward to set up very easy to use it gives us a full information and as promised let's do another uh scan if it to see if it actually of again switching switching it off by itself and should switch back so it switched off by itself and it should switch back on by itself as well you don't want to mess about do the wrong things as it can mess it up as it is connected to the obd scanner but let's wait and see guys we've got switched it on by itself another scan let's see if those codes that appeared at the beginning of the video still appear or have they disappeared and yeah that is how you clear the codes uh for I forgot how much it was about 30 pounds i believe is worth it I, I, I guess yeah all of the codes have at the moment disappeared they're not coming up which is great uh again depending if it's a major issue of course you want to get that fixed you don't want to ignore it or delete it and yeah so yeah guys that is it make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and yeah that was a quick one on this one car power let me know what you think have you guys bought it any questions you have let me know in the comment section down below and i'm going to end the video here and i catch you guys in the next one until then take care and peace